In this video, we are going to look at the Fiddler Everywhere autoresponder and see how it can be used to mock network requests. The Fiddler Everywhere autoresponder is by far one of the most powerful features that Fiddler Everywhere provides. It can be used to mock network traffic and is really useful when you are testing or trying to reduce the dependency on an online server. To create a new autoresponder rule, you need to right click on the session that you want and click on the add new rule option. Fiddler Everywhere will automatically load the particular session in the autoresponder panel. On clicking edit, you can open up the rule editor wherein you can provide the match condition as well as the action. In this particular case, for every exact occurrence of this particular URL, Fiddler Everywhere will act according to the action provided in this tab. Fiddler Everywhere provides you a couple of predefined options that you can use. For example, you can reset the connection or you can set a delay. You could also reply with a tunnel or you could have a course pre-flight allow option. You could change the headers or you could just redirect it to a different URL. Fiddler Everywhere also provides you the option of returning a manually crafted response. For example, if I need to make some change on this web page, I can I can make that change directly within the response. In this case, I'm going to change welcome to Wikipedia to welcome to encyclopedia. Now click save to save the rule and make sure that the rule is turned on by clicking the toggle button. Similarly, make sure that the autoresponder is turned on to make sure that the rule is applied. The next time you reload the page in your web browser, you can click on the web session and open the web inspector to see. And as you can see, it has the change is reflected right here. Similarly, there are other things that you can do with this session. I'm going to add another rule which sets a delay every time the session is loaded. To do that, I'm going to set an exact match and then in the action, I'm going to set the delay as 1000 milliseconds. I'm going to save it and make sure that autoresponder is toggled on. And now if I reload the page, I will notice there is a delay of 1000 milliseconds when the page loads.